Congress that uh, is hard to be. Uh, my name is Ray Shaw, I'm one of the elders here, and uh, right now I feel a little bit like the Grinch who stole Christmas. I have announced it. On December 11th, the elders met to discuss the budget. After a lengthy meeting, the decision was reached and all members agreed. Before I let you know what that decision was, I need to give you some information and some context. Much of 2018, we spent trying to understand why we were struggling to make budget, trying to find ways to cut costs to increase income. In the summer, Adam asked to have some research done to see where our church staff was relative to national average. The numbers he was given showed that we were very high in the ratio of staff to income. In the last month, we conducted two separate analysis <coughs> to verify that that information was accurate. One of the analysis compared the number of full-time staff to the number of members of the church. That ratio number is 44 to 1. The national average for that same calculation is between 77 and 95 to 1. Each member to a full-time staff member. The other analysis compared tithe income to total staff com compensation. Our church ratio is 66%. 66% of the tithe income we have goes to staff compensation for salary for insurance. The national average is 48%. So there's some other things that I need for you guys to know before I give you uh, the information. Uh, so far in, 19, in 2018, this church has spent $24,000 more than we brought in. Our available operating capital right now is less than $5,000. We are about $40,000 short of making our actual budget. And believe me, this is not a padded budget. The decision we reached, as painful as it is, was to reduce staff by one person. That person we designated to be released was Pastor JJ. Three things that you need to know. It's very important. Absolutely true. This action was absolutely no way in response to his performance. And it is not in any way due to a moral failure. It is not. It's strictly budgetary. Number two, there are no more cuts in the woods. Number three. Pat Davis had nothing to do with this decision. So, <clears throat> you're probably all wondering and worrying about it. Wondering about the youth. The youth has not been lost in this decision. We have committed to making sure that the youth is taken care of. Jesse Smith, the other youth pastor, will remain, will remain on staff. His uh, responsibilities will be broadened, and we will make available, available to him the resources that he needs, both in personnel and in tools for that. As a matter of fact, we are meeting with Jesse after this service to begin his discussions to find out exactly what's needed and what we can do to make sure that the youth are strong and vibrant. We truly re regret having to make this decision. J.J. and Renee have been working and serving and attending this church for many years. We wish them all the best. We pray that God will provide beyond their needs and their desires. Folks, um, I know you, some of you are going to have some questions. I will make myself available. Ask any of the other elders. We will answer the questions as best we can. I'll be up here after service. say a few words. This is hard. This is hard for J. 
JJ and Renee. It's hard for the elders. It's hard for you. It's hard for me. And the reason why it's so hard is because we love these people. That's why it's hard. I mean, I personally have never had another man hug me so long that it feels uncomfortable and then hug me for another 15 seconds. Never had a man work so hard to get me to eat a burger with peanut butter and jelly. It's hard. So what do we do? We trust God. We just trust God. We trust God that somehow God is going to take this moment and leverage it and launch JJ and Renee to something glorious. We trust God that God is going to continue to speak to and through our elders to lead us well. We trust somehow God's going to show us his purpose in all of this. I want us to pray for JJ and Nan. What's that, bud? Pray for faith. Pray for faith. Trust. Trust. So, let's all pray. Pray for faith. Pray for trust. Pray for JJ and Nan. Father God, we ask in Jesus' name Lord, that you would bless JJ and Renee. God, that you would give them, take care of them, provide for them. And God, I just pray that in all of this thing, that we would come back to the central issue. And that's Christ being the center of this church. And we ask your power, God, to be with our family. Touch them, move in their lives. And going forward, God, give us a sense of, of mourning, but in that, let there be a joy that comes forward in knowing, God, that you have all of us in your hands. You're not blind to this. God, help us do this in Jesus' name. Well, with that, America, <laughs> terrible. Do me a favor before you leave here. Grab JJ and Renee and hug them and pray with them, please. Hey, God bless you. Bless you.